Hello and welcome to Jessie Bear Book Club Quizzes! Today we are doing the quiz for June from the BBC History Magazine from 2016, 17 and 18. There are 18 questions in total and as always I have my lovely quiz master general here with me, Cormac. Hello! So, without further ado, let's begin. So, question one. Which event of 1385 caused a five-year legal wrangle between Richard Scrope and Robert Grosner? Um, I don't know. Read it again. Which event of 1385 caused a five-year legal wrangle between Richard Scrope and Robert Grosner? I'm going to say it's 1385. I'm going to say it's something to do with the Norman Conquest and land holdings. Uh, they turned up on campaign with the same coat of arms. Oh! So I suppose like there's you're kind of on the right line. Yeah, I don't get a point for that though. I don't think so. Not quite the answer, but still. Does it say what the coat of arms was? Nope. Oh. Nope. <laughs> uh, question two. Which word meaning showy but of low quality is derived from the cheap lace sold at St. Audrey's Fair in El Eli. Il Eli. Eli. Oh, Tawdry. Yes, that's correct. One point One for point. me. I love that term. Yeah. <laughs> it was... Oh, oh. Question three? Question three, yes. Why might Britain's first royal dragons have been embarrassed about their colonial in chief at the outbreak of the First World War? Oh, um, wasn't it the Kaiser Wilhelm? Yeah, it was Germany's Kaiser Wilhelm II. Yeah, because he was Queen Victoria's grandson. Mm. Her first grandchild, actually. Good to know. Uh, question four. What was originally founded in 1881 as the Fenian Office? As the what office? The Fenian Office. F-E-N-I-A-N. Fenian Office. What was first founded? I don't know. Uh, something to do with Ireland? Like the Irish Embassy? No, the Special Branch. Ooh. Mm. Question five. Yep. How is the Empress Matilda said to have escaped from the besieged Oxford Castle at Christmas 1142? Oh, uh, she put on a white cloak and then she climbed down the walls of the castle so she could like hide in the snow. Yeah, yeah, the answer they have here by wrapping yourself in a wet sheet to camouflage yourself against the snow. So you hit yeah, all the keywords there. I know that, I know that. Three points. Yeah. Now we got a wee picture. Uh, what is this called and what does it commemorate? Um, I don't know what it's called, but I've got a feeling it's, it commemorates the Second World War in some way. Does it? I know, I know, I know. Doesn't it? Because of the shape of it. So it commemorates the Indian forces that fought in the First World War? Yeah, 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 you know what, we'll give you it. What? You know, it's the Chattery, a memorial to the First World War Hindu and Sikh soldiers who died in the temporary hospital in Brighton's Royal Pavilion and were then cremated here on the Downs. Oh. So there you go, I think we'll give you a point for that. Oh wow, I'm doing really well this yeah. round so far, I mean That's I'm getting good. cocky. Yeah. I bet you like this next one I'm going to be really bad at or yeah, something. Yeah, we'll, we're moving on to the next year. So, so the, 2017. Yep, so the next question. Yep. Juliana Popjoy was the mistress of Richard Bow, Richard Bow Nash, Bath's 18th century master of ceremonies. Where did she live after parting from Nash? I don't know, Bristol? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're going to laugh at this. In a hollow tree near Warminster. <laughs> She lived in a tree. Apparently so. Was she like some sort of Eden Blyden character? Maybe. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, the next question. What links the writer J.D. Salinger, film director John Ford and the actor Richard Todd? Ooh. This is a good, this is a good answer. Uh, I don't know. J.D. Salinger, film director John Ford and actor. Ooh, I don't know. Were they all married to the same woman? Nope, they all landed in Normandy on D-Day. Oh! Yeah, they all served in the American forces. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. The next one? Yep, go yep. ahead. What was wicked about the 1631 Wicked Bible? Oh, um, it told you you must commit adultery. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll give you it. Uh, the answer they have here is due to a printing error, it omitted the not in the seventh commandment, thus telling the reader, thou shalt commit adultery. Yeah, you had a copy of that, you know. <laughs> probably you know how I do that? Money. My granddad had a copy of that. Oh, did he? Yeah, and I'll try to throw it out. No way, you gotta keep that. I'm afraid to hide. Uh, do you still have it? Yeah, yeah I, I rescued it. Oh, where is it? It's in Cold Rain, like on that bookshelf, you know, in the living room. Oh, yes, good, good. That's probably worth something. I don't know if it is, but... Here, take that in the pawn stars, you know. <laughs> you must commit adultery. Yeah, yeah. you probably have a guy for it. <laughs> he always has a guy for yeah. it. Next question. Okay, next one. How did a grey horse called Billy help save the day on the 28th of April, 1923? Ooh. I don't know. Uh... He helped someone get somewhere. Uh, pulled pulled someone out of a lake. No. Okay. I don't think you you'll be fond of this answer. What is it? So by helping to clear the crowd from the pitch so that the first FA Cup final to be held at Wembley could start, and neither of us really like football. Yeah, they should have left Billy in the stable. <laughs> <laughs> Billy should have. Yep. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Where would you find Lenac Cottage and the Col Win? Winnemac enclosure. Oh, what was that? Here. Where Word. would you find the Lenac cottage and the Cold enclosure? I don't know. I don't. Windsor Castle. On the battlefield of Culloden. 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 I really Scotland. need to read more and practice my reading. <laughs> you know what it is? So it's when you read something in your head. Yeah. And then you try to say it out loud. Like I get that problem, especially with like. Game of Thrones books or wildcard books, like yeah. you just hear the name in your head and you pronounce it really like weirdly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Oh. So, and uh, the next question. And the final question for 2017 yep. magazine. You ready? Yep. Okay, you'll like this. Which sport is associated with this bridge in Nashton Forest, Sussex? Ooh, um, I'm going to say Very famous. poo sticks because isn't Ashton Forest where Winnie the Pooh was created? Yeah, yep. Poo sticks, it, which was first mentioned in 1928 in the house at Poo Comber, Comber by A. A. Milan, who lived nearby. Yeah, I, I used to play poo sticks when I was a kid. Yeah, poo sticks. <laughs> and, and you have to laugh because they say poo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the questions from 2018. Okay, here we go. Next question. Go. Which European monarch paid a three-month visit to England in 1698 to learn about shipbuilding? Oh, uh, um, Peter the Great of Russia. That's correct. Aha, I knew that. I watched a documentary about him. Okay. Uh, next question. Yep. The first steam locomotive to haul passengers on a public railway line was built by George Stevenson in 1825. What was it called? Was it the rocket? You know, because in the in Horrible History song, it was the rocket. <laughs> Was it the rocket? Nope. Oh. It was active and it was later renamed Locomotion. Oh, well, I, and, I think um, the rocket sounds better. It does, doesn't it? Also, fun fact about Peter the Great, he had never seen a wheelbarrow before, before coming to England. Is that right? Yes. Wow. I know. Imagine that. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay, next question. Originally called the Criss Cross Words, which popular board game was devised in 1938 by New York architect Alfred Musher Butts? <laughs> Are you laughing at butts? Yeah. Um, okay, it's either going to be like word searches or Scrabble. Uh, uh, I'll read the question again. Yeah. Originally called Criss Cross Words, which popular board game was devised by 1938? In 1938 by New York architect Alfred Musher Butts. It's going to be Scrabble then. Exactly, it's Scrabble. <laughs> the, the key was board game. I hate Scrabble. Yeah. Next question. Next question. After being sworn in on the 21st of November 1922, Rebecca Latimer Felton became the first woman to serve in the United States Senate. How long did she serve for? Um, I'm going to say a week. Ooh, no. How long? 24 hours. Oh, that's depressing. Yep. The good thing, we've come a long way. We still have a long way to go in terms of equality, but we've come a long way. Good to oh, know. I like your little plug there. Just making sure, you know, people know I'm on side. <laughs> Okay, next question. Okay, next question. Where would you find a depiction of a dwarf called Turlod? 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 Um, I know the name. 
Okay, I'm gonna say the boa trapistry. That's correct. Haha! I had to write part of that, like, you know when you do your opening for your dissertation, yeah. we had to do like a thing about the boa trapistry, and I remember that because I wrote about him, and there were only, I think, three women shown in the boa trapistry. Oh, right. But okay. more dogs than mm. you would expect. Good to know. Okay, the lump on stone below, uh, there's a picture here, is all that remains of a fourth ring hay castle which saw the birth of a king and the execution of a queen. Who were the two monarchs? Fotheringay. Uh, well, the execution I know was Mary Queen of Scots. Yep, that's one of them. Okay, and uh, Fotheringay was owned by the Yorks. Well, uh, so the birth uh, of a king and the execution of a queen. Yeah. So, so we got the Mary Queen of Scots execution, and who was the birth of the king? So I know Fotheringay was owned by the Yorkist party during the like, War of the Roses. I know Edward was born in France, so I'm going to say Richard the Third. Yeah, that's correct. Aha! Oh, I think this is my best quiz yet. I, I got 11 so. points. Yes, I think so. I think we're doing okay now, you know? I didn't think those were as difficult, though, no. as some of the other questions we've had. Yeah. Like, they seemed quite, like, you know, like the Scrabble one and stuff were quite easy. Yeah. And the one about, like, tawdry. Yeah. But, but I think we, we did, you did good there. I think so too, and I'm quite proud of myself for 11 points out of a possible 18. Mm -hmm. More than half. For once, I think this is the first time I've ever got more than half. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the quiz, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you can get next month's quiz, which is August, no, July. July. Bye! Bye.